guys welcome back to my page so today I'm gonna to be taking you on a journey to my spa at home before you guys watch this video I really want you to take a nice deep breath just to get you feeling relaxed and feeling Zen it's so important to make sure that before you begin your day you have a moment of gratitude and just a moment to be present and to be grateful for just where you are who you are and who you are becoming so just take a deep breath in and out and do it once more for me and out I feel so much better already so just do that anytime you feel anxious and just allow yourself to kind of pause and just understand why you're feeling the way you are and hopefully it will help you to just calm down and just feel ready for this video. On my normal life before Corona, I was very dedicated to my beauty regimens from laser to waxing and of course, getting my eyebrows done. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is brows. And for my brows, I know you guys will notice that my brows are literally distant relatives. Like one of them is my favorite, even though I shouldn't make my brows feel like that. I hope they're not listening. But the other one is quite, um, um, small and it's also very neat in comparison to the other one which is a lot more I guess bushy but it's still got a nice shape to it which I love so instead of me trying to make them look like cousins or sisters I just figured I'd give them a tidy in the middle and around the brow I'm using tweezers for this and although usually my brow tech would be using wax I didn't want to use wax as I just wanted to keep it simple clean and I didn't want to maybe affect my shape or anything like that the next thing I'm going to be doing is my armpits. So, oh guys, waxing my armpits was definitely a really uncomfortable experience. Not for the pain, but because I had to have my arms up the whole time and it just strained me after a while. But I really, really, really loved the results and I think I did a good job, especially considering it was my first time. So. Yeah, shout out to that. It's really important to make sure that you avoid applying oils or any kind of moisturizers to your underarms. Not that I would usually, but some people before waxing think that it's a good idea to apply moisturizers and it's just not okay. So even deodorant, anything that will sit in your pores, just avoid applying it. You wanna have a really dry and clean base to begin with. So using a cotton pad or even a towel is really, really important just to wipe your pits. I'm using sugar wax for this and the reason why is because it's a lot more gentle although I did have to go over it a lot more but I found that it was just so easy to work with and of course it's a natural product so I really love that about it. You just put it in the microwave for 45 seconds and you are good to go. So for armpits and general hair removal you have to wax in the direction the hair is growing in and I noticed that I had two completely different directions so you'll notice for some I'll be waxing downwards and for some I'll be waxing upwards. Once I was done I used oil, I used a vegan oil and all I did was apply this on my skin so that the wax could come off as there were a few bits that were left that weren't coming off with the paper so this melted the wax right away and I was left with a really smooth finish. One of my favorite things about going to see my esthetician is getting a facial. I absolutely love that whole experience. I love the glow and I just love seeing my skin transform after every appointment. Unfortunately I couldn't go and see her and I miss her so much but it was really nice to just do this to myself and usually whenever I'm doing um, facials at home I always use things like mud masks but because we are at a real deal spa I wanted to copy the things that I've noticed they do whenever I go to get a facial. The first thing I did was use an LMS cleansing balm and the reason why I did this is because I wanted to get rid of any dirt that was sitting on my skin and I find that oils or cleansing balms are amazing at doing that and of course this was a perfect time to give myself a nice massage in the process. At spas they always use a hot cloth to remove the product. Of course this makes it very easy for them but it's also really nice when the cloth is nice and warm so it kind of relaxes you and of course because the cleansing balm smells amazing when I applied the cloth which was really warm it smelled so divine and I felt so relaxed afterwards. 
to really get my skin nice and clean and ready for its facial. I now use a Ole Henriksen cleanser to really get out any remaining dirt and just also give my skin a really nice glow. This cleanser in particular has orange in it which is really good for brightening your skin and giving you a lovely glow. So I loved using this cleanser as it smells amazing but also makes your skin feel really really silky afterwards without stripping any of your natural oils. After that I did a really nice mask and at spas they never use mud masks whether that's because they don't feel like they're beneficial and it's just something that is kind of a marketing tool I don't know but I noticed that they always use masks that you can wipe off and masks that are more on the hydrating side of things so I use just that I use an Ole Henriksen mask which also worked really nicely with the cleanser I had just used and I just moved this around in circular motions until it turned white and after that I left it on for 15 minutes and used a cloth to remove it. At spas they always use products that are in the same line so I really tried to follow that rule with my facial. I used the Elemis products, then I used Ole Henriksen and Fresh Beauty. The reason why I did this is because I wanted the true feel of a spa and I just wanted to make sure that my skin was working really well with all the active ingredients that each of the brand has. The next thing I did was use a toner. Toners are a key part of a skincare routine and this one has a nozzle on it so it felt really nice to just spray this on my skin. It was very cooling and I just loved the feel of it. I had a really nice radiant glow after I used it. Once I did this I continued with my skincare routine so by using a serum this gave me a really nice base to then apply a moisturizer and I followed with an SPF. I felt really relaxed afterwards, I felt so, so good and just uh, the glow was real and I truly, truly give my own facial a solid 9 out of 10. So now we're going to the nail bar and I always love getting my nails done, it's a part of my self care routine so of course I had to make sure I implement this into my spa at home. I had on some raggedy glitter nail varnish and it needed to go so I removed this and then I proceeded to give my nails the love they deserve. Using a cuticle cutter was honestly like the most therapeutic thing but please do be careful when using it as it is sharp and you don't want to cause any accidents. So yeah, just be careful with this guys and avoid getting too close to your skin or going too deep. I then used a nail file just to give my nails a nice tidy and this was pretty easy but just make sure you don't go too crazy and you kind of stick to the shape so whether you're doing a round shape or a square just Follow the rules and also take your time guys, like don't feel rushed or anything like that. This is your time for self care. After that I made sure that I gave my nails a nice base by applying a base coat and I did two layers of this. And then I proceeded with a colour, I found this really beautiful lilac colour in my stash, I used this. Afterwards I finished with my top coat and don't mind that my nails are messy at the sides, you can always tidy this up afterwards. Don't let it dishearten you as well if you're not doing the job you imagined. You can always learn from it, go back on it and yeah, just have fun with it, even trying different colours, different styles. Just look online on Pinterest and just see what styles really appeal to you. And if you really want to give yourself a nice and very much deserving hand massage, I love using bath salts as this is a really good way to cleanse your hands and just give them a really soft feel especially because we've all been washing our hands a lot more than usual now it's really important to apply a nice lotion just to revive your hands and just keep them nice and moisturized as for my body hair I always get laser done so for my legs my upper lip my chin I often get laser every four to six weeks so I couldn't wax my legs and I had to shave them so I love to always use really nice foams and really nice exfoliants just to give my skin a really glowy finish afterwards there are two different ways that I often exfoliate the first one is with bath salts and I love to just 
move this around on my skin and just give it a nice massage. Then you could also use a brush which I used on the other leg and I use this with a regular shower gel by Soap and Glory. The brush is quite hard to use as it's a little bit painful but the results are definitely a lot better than the bath salts as your skin really does feel a lot softer and it just looks a lot better as well. Then I love to use a foam. I love anything Rituals. I've been using their foams for so long on my legs. So I applied this and moved it around and then I just shaved going upwards. You can shave going downwards too, but it takes a little bit longer. But when you shave upwards, it gets rid of more hair quicker. So this is definitely a lot more better for me now. But I've tried going downwards before and it just took a little bit longer with removing hair. So it just depends on the kind of finish that you want to have. Afterwards, I applied a body butter and I used this one. It's all vegan, all natural, and it just gives my skin the best finish. I love using this body butter and it's also by a queen who is Zimbabwean, so I have to support my sister. Hair is a huge part of my self-care routine and I made sure to do a really nice steam. This made my hair feel so good and just gave it a really beautiful finish when I was styling. I used a really nice deep conditioner but of course you can rummage through your stash and just see what you have and work with it. You don't have to order the most luxurious products, just literally it's about using what you have to make the best out of your time whilst being at home. The spa experience is not just about the facials and getting your nails done but it's also about the atmosphere. So I love to use candles and have really nice jazz or soft lo-fi beats playing in the background. One of my favourites is my new playlist called cozy at home so I was playing this during the time of my spa and I also love to use scents so I have candles, incense, I have sage, I have palo santo. All of them have different benefits um, depending on the kind of scents that you like but just make sure your palo santo and your sage are sourced ethically. I had mine sent to me by a queen who makes boxes with crystals and everything that involves healing so I was really happy to use this as it brought so much joy into my home, so much peace and it just made me feel really good to just smell it as I was doing all my treatments so make sure you guys also incorporate the atmosphere part of your spa too even by having some books or some magazines so that when you're waiting for your facial you can also read those and even drinking teas and even pouring a little bit of champagne like it just depends on what kind of spa girl you are you know are you having tea are you having champagne are you having both and if it's an all day thing for you, make sure to stay hydrated as well. It's really key to just keep your body happy on the inside as well as on the out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I definitely enjoyed making it for you. I got to relax but also create at the same time which are two really important parts of my self care. So I'll see you guys for the next video and I look forward to hearing how your spa day went. Bye guys!